I would now bring in uh, Dr. Guru Charan Singh, who is the head management department at Punjabi University. Thank you, Raghu. I was sitting behind as a bank, my, my back, my chair, listening all the views of all the panelists. I'll not say anything, whatever has been said in earlier two uh, panel discussions, because this panel is to revolve around only the usage of technology. I'll take one clue from uh, Mr. Munjal that how technology is being used in research. One experiment, which once, once upon a time I attended one uh, international conference and one of the presenter made one presentation over there. It was an experimental research. What happened? There is one small room, one picture is there in front of them. They call their subject ask him to sit in front of them and they will see how their eyes are positioned and those are all recorded then they will be analyzed with the infrared uh, what you call technologies i immediately asked him that how why you are developing this kind of technology or software or application his reply was sir in all kinds of your malls or these retail markets 80% of people are nonsense people, they are just visitors, they are not buyers. To identify those buyers, we will have their eye positioning whether they are real buyers or they are just visitors. So that we can invest time only on those persons who are real buyers. Rest of the persons we will delete them. Now this is one example that how technology is being used in research and this technology will integrate interdisciplinary approach. Our management people is there, our engineer is there, our psychologist is there, our sociologist is there, all have their all, all inputs. Now this is one. Second issue in uh, usage of technology as of in India is, we are talking about there are stakeholders and as a stakeholder, administrators are one stakeholders. I am dealing with some of the administration work in university as well. We are finding that results are declared very late because their earlier documents are not verified from the previous institutions. Now there is a need for central repository in India so that your all documents are reposited in it. That becomes a repository and you can verify your documents easily. Now here again the role of technology would be there. Third issue, third issue which I want to uh, collect it from Mr. Kuhner. You see, technology is there, no doubt technology is there. Over a period of time, at least for the last 10 or 15 years, what has happened to our students? Our Google Baba is there, Google Guru is there. Now this Google Guru ultimately, no doubt, there is a bombardment of information which is available on internet adequate information. Do you think our student is there to digest that much information? To me, I'm sorry to say, they are not there to digest this much information. One, two. Do you think that this Google Baba, Baba helps them to develop their own analytical skills which they develop while reading books? Probably no. These are some of the disadvantages where we have to create some checks and balances as faculty member. Two more observations which I would like to share with you, which uh, Mr. Balbir have uh, uh, just now shared with you. One, we have about 22 lakh seats in engineering all over India. We have about 4 lakh seats in management all over India. 50% of seats for the last, I'm talking about last year's figure, after counseling, they were vacant. They were empty. Have we tried to analyze what are the reasons that the seats are vacant? One issue. Second issue in this case is, I'm, I'm talking about something about government's role. Government is focusing on gross enrollment ratio. Average gross enrollment ratio of India is 13.2%. Highest gross enrollment ratio in world is of US 84%. Twelfth plan target in India is 20%. By 2020, we want to reach 
30% gross and movement ratio. Probably this is one of the reasons that liberal policy of giving approvals to these institutions, we are focusing on gross enrollment ratio. To increase gross enrollment ratio, not focusing on quality. There are quality gaps. Several things have been said. I hope we have to take care of all these issues while making some policy framework. We have to at least address all these issues and we can take examples of to utilize technology for the welfare, for the administration, and for the learning purposes and the process of our students as well. Thank you very much.